YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Good Company Strategy and Tactics, Episode 14. So, after a little bit of time has passed in-game, we hit our next milestone already. We're, we're, we're knocking these out uh, quick. Milestone number six. So with this one, we get a bunch more success points, a bunch more discovery points, and a crap ton of money. So yeah, let's let's um, let's go to our board here. Let's go to our success board, um, the business development tab that is. And let's take a look. Uh, one of my commenters had a request to do a, a bigger overview of the business development tab. And so we're certainly going to do that. Um, so at the top here, we had your primary three basic benches, but the other benches are here as well. These things are for more specific, higher, higher tier items that would normally take a lot longer time on other you know other things like for example this uh, that heater that we were manufacturing yeah we may um the heater takes a long time to make uh so the welding table definitely helps out with that uh, mechanics you know again for when we come across the need to make products with these that's what these are are gonna do for us we also have a, a medium-sized bot so when we start getting into the bigger bots um this table is gonna help us out uh, but for the time being, our bot assembly table is doing just fine. Uh, now along here, these are employee-specific um, skills. Whenever you see these little icons like this, um, these are when an employee gets a uh, high enough uh, you know, level, and I don't actually think we have anybody who is high enough level. Skill points. Well, actually, yeah, you have some skill points that you could spend on. Um, so yeah, individual employee skills. Once they get um, once they get skilled enough, you can assign that to them. Um, now there's individual ones, but there's also manager tier uh, levels here. Now, as far as this particular employee goes, the only skills that they can afford at the moment are ones that they don't, are they, they aren't going to use uh, because they're they're a logistics employee. But that being said, we could pick something up here, um, a little bit further down. Yeah, logistics movement um, and uh, logistics picking. Also, um, you know, parts of, of the, you know, that, and these are pretty dar darn cheap too. And then higher up, you get the manager level uh, where they give the effect to the whole zone, but you can only have so many uh, managers in one area. Um, now, as far as logistics go, I do think I want to give them walking speed. So I'm going to, I'm going to unlock that one. And then we're going to go to our, our highly skilled employee here. And uh, let's give them some walking speed. Uh, they also have a chance to randomly um, build up no, new stuff as they go along. Uh, everyone else, they're getting there. They're getting close. We can start doling out some serious skills pretty soon. Um, but no, until then, let's move on. Now, a couple of the other ones here, whenever you see these little things that kind of look like a shield, these are all policy unlocks. And we've been dabbling with policy unlocks mostly. Now, these right here, these are more advanced policies here. Uh, as you can tell, 500, it takes 500 of these things. And they unlock specific material focuses, which allow you to build um, and analyze materials made of a specific thing um, 25 percent faster so this could be good in modules but we'd have to rearrange our modules by material rather than using them by that that's not to say that that's not a, a, a good use of your your resources but we don't quite have the need or the well, space for that yet but we'll get there we will especially with all of our stuff being made of wood on wooden cases, this, that, and the other. Uh, wood focus is definitely a thing that we could we could dive into. 
Um, now, one other thing that I'm uh, looking at here is research development and um, an anal analysis organization too. Now, these two things give us faster research and analysis speed, but comes with the downside of higher wages for all the employees in the zone. Uh, so you kind of want to only use this where their bonus is going to be applied. Um, so uh, later on, we're going to um, change over Huja data so that it only has um, research people in there, and then we can pick this up. Now, one other thing that I've been waiting on here is this one, careful handling. This is another global one here. This one is going to be for our assemblers, but it's not, uh, it doesn't boost assembly. In fact, it actually slows assembly down a little bit. Um, it also slows picking and walking speed down. It slows literally everything down. But for a 10% luck, I mean, luck by as a reminder, gives you a chance of getting double output. And when you're, you're the thing that you're outputting is a finished product. That's a two finished products without the need for two sets of raw materials in one go through. So it's hyper efficient, uh, if a little bit RNG based, but we definitely want this one. Boom. Um, other things that we can do, bonus payments, um, the strict goals will, um, you know, speed everybody up and make them unhappy. Um, and then higher bonus payments increases their wages, but it makes them happier. A um, few other things that we could do there, but um, now down here, we get to the conveyor belt. This is a whole game changer into of itself. Um, and you actually need to unlock the tech for conveyor belts. Um, several aspects of the tech of conveyor belts just through these means. So yeah, that's going to be a little ways down. And then these are the super, super uh, machinery things. These are things that can process modules, not only hyper, hyper quickly, but also without the need for a worker. So the end game is sort of taking all of our human workforce and automating them out of a job. But that's down the line. Uh, for now, let's uh, let's go and install our new uh, our new policies here. Uh, so in chickets, we're gonna get rid of the product output one, um, the assembly speed boost there to replace it with careful handling. So in a set, in essence, we're actually slowing them down by twenty percent. They're still gonna get a net positive, and like I said, the nut luck modifier, in my opinion, is worth it. But let's switch over to the bow, do the same thing here. Careful handling. Now, one thing we can do to sort of offset the speed detriment that we just got here. If we take a look at one of our employees, uh, they are now at an 18% chance of getting double output. That's combined from our leader, the high happiness effect, and careful handling all put together. But the other thing is their assembly speed. They still have some good assembly speed. They have a lot of assembly speed bonuses um, to offset that 10%, but we can make them go even faster with more happiness. See, this person's only 85% happy. You get uh, continued bonuses all the way up to 100. Now, uh, I checked with the dev on this. See at the top there, work zone bonus, uh, work zone setup plus 12%. That's decorations. You can go all the way up to 50 plus 50% 50 with that. So um, yeah, let's get decorating because we just have a lot of money in, in our uh, in our hands here. Um, so yeah, let's get we're gonna get some more expensive, heavier hitting stuff like that. And then let's do some carpets. We're just gonna, cause these don't, these don't take up any room, but they give a, a modest amount of happiness. But the fact that they don't come up, they don't take up any room is, is kind of their major selling point. Let's see how we're doing here. Yeah, up to yeah, we're up to 40%, but I think there's enough positive 
merits in this zone that everybody is going to get up to 40 percent or get up to 100 percent um it's not immediate but it still helps okay let's um yeah then now we can see what our fully armed and operational thing will be doing here what i'll probably do off screen is decorate all of our module producers so that they get the output because they, they're it's worthwhile doing it for them even you know the happiness luck basis is nice but the real shining star there is um getting our um getting our, our, our productions just base speed up and running faster. All right, let's, uh, let's continue, shall we? Uh, keeping an eye on our pallets here um, so that we can swap them out once they are filled up. Making sure we have enough stuff here and enough room. All right, so far so good. Oh yeah, the other thing is, um, and I meant to, to do this before I unpaused, uh, we only have one more stack of components left to do. So you know what? Let's convert all of these back to their rightful um, small compartments. Uh, we can build them up or just, you know, sell them. Compartment, small compartment, small compartments all around. And then if I remember correctly, um, compound sundries, compound sundries. And then that one, uh, you know, sell um, the, uh, the component raw materials one, the component sales. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. So away you go. Because I'm just going to find a stack and just manually do it. I will find a manual stack of components to just dump and get our final stack here. Uh, like you. There you go. Some coils for you. All right, we're. I think we overdid it a little bit with the uh, stylish cases. I think we need to rip up um, some of these because this is like the 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 sorcerer's apprentices brooms into the well. They're way over producing stylish cases more than we could ever hope to need. Um, but hey, who knows? Maybe with the uptick in happiness, the production will start using them up faster. All right, let's sell you there. And then that's, and then these pallets, these component pallets, we can just convert into just more product stuff because that's ultimately what they need to be there down there anyway. All right. So that's going to take care of that. And again, I have no concerns about us naturally hitting the game device production goal uh, before the end of the quarter. So I think that's a, I think that's this quarter's goals situated. We're just making sure that all of our stuff is uh, is in place and, and good to go. Oh yeah, um, let's get rid of these logistics only and what we will do is do a logistics only of small compartments just so that we can hold them The other thing I think we should do here is let's merge these. Mm, let's not delete that until we have room for the, uh, the final goods here. I was originally going to put these on this pallet here just to, just to hold on to them. I might sell them because, you know, we're not, we're not making the courier bot just, just yet. That should be enough. 
There we go. Okay. Now we can get one big shelf right here. Uh, let's get two of you, two of you, two of you, and lots of storage space for these. And then we'll give them what they need. Get the sundries in there, get the pipes in there, more metal. And then I'll hold the I'll hold these on here. Got a random stack of batteries I can find a home for. Actually, no, we're we're making more batteries than we need. Uh, we should probably just hawk those, or just hold on to them in case we get a sell X components uh, mission or company goal. I know our I know our one person here is is not not at the top of their game here, but I still want them doing something. Oh yeah, let's get rid of you. I'm gonna buy a whole bunch more metal just because we seem to need it. Oh, we have some uh, idle people. Yes, we do. Hmm. What shall we do to employ them? I know. We will, uh, let's get a couple of more research desks in Huja Data and just send them there. Now they have something to do. More researchers! Because it does take a lot of time to digest level 2 uh, stuff, and the higher tier, the tier 3, tier 4 stuff, takes even longer. So uh, research becomes a lot more daunting of a prospect. Um, we are full up on our audio devices here, aren't we? Yes, we are. Uh, sell rule beats by not hawk here for the rest of these. And then yeah, let me just grab a couple of things of metal here just to keep in case we need it. Yep. Oh, we just No, oh, there's no no, there's not enough metal here. That's why. Let's get another slot of metal here, just to give it some room. Oh, I just barely beat the courier there. Fair enough. But yeah, once our next week rolls over, we should be in good shape. Selling components, boom! And now that's gonna turn in, I, 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 the success points for that, fine, whatever. But the price, market price increase across the board by 5% for everything, starting at the, at the beginning of the next quarter, that's the real reason I went through all the trouble to do those modules. Um, yeah, and everything else here should be fine. We didn't get a whole lot of good selection on that. Hmm, it looks like some of our uh, stuff did not sell here. To the market! What's going on here? Uh, cassette player. Yep, that is one maxed out market. Fair enough. Well, this will get to uh, this will get to tier two soon enough, and and we are tier two ready. 
Um, calculator, yeah, we need to amp up our, our uh, production here. Toy, well, we're not selling that to the public market. That one. Game device, pocket computer. Fair enough. I might throw in a couple more production lines here, but mm, it's hard to expand it outwards because then that's going to bleed into other zones and then we got to get this pallet set up to supply these things. I think we're just going to try to amp up our, our bonuses as much as humanly possible here. Um, yeah, and it takes people a little while to get all of their, uh, their happiness things uh, situated. Oh, I know one other thing I wanted to do here is with these. Um, we're going to give them a medium shelf. They can still sl uh, slip in there, but that gives them more slots to deposit in case they get a lucky proc. Um, oh yeah, let's give them their stuff back. We'll give them a full stack of batteries while we're at it. Medium shelf, please. Full stack of batteries. And that, and cases. And what the hey, we'll give you uh We'll go. We'll go. Drop these off ourselves. Why not? We're feeling. We're feeling generous. That's butter. Yeah, it's butterfly mama. There we go. Excellent. All right. Um, our assignment. We're we're two hundred of two uh, sixty three. That's not bad, but. Let me just, I, I, and I hate that I have to do this. Yeah, see, it's all full up. That, that I have to constantly check these. Yeah, they're both full up at this point. We're, I mean, it's the kind of problem you want to have, but I wish I didn't have to change these. It's the business equivalent of changing a diaper. It's like, you understand why, but, eh, can't wait until they, uh, they learn to clean it, clean themselves. All right, get those on there, and we're good. I think we I think we caught it before the shells filled up too much. Because yeah, now we get a big burst of uh, of deposits here. Not too shabby. Yeah, it's actually our cassette players that are. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, 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 We were going to go into that. We were just going to finish this up. Well, I guess you're going to be forcing my hand. Well, very well. Challenge accepted. So in our next episode, we are going to uh, get expand out our production a little bit sooner than expected and get into the courier uh, market before our competitor thinks they have it to themselves. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!